Do you want to play Cataclysm? Dark days ahead on your smartphone, but it feels unplayable? Don't worry, I've got you covered. In this video, I'll show you how to set up Cataclysm on mobile like a pro. First, let's start with the keyboard. We'll be using this specific keyboard app. It's not available on the Play Store, but don't worry, I've left a download link in the description. Once you've downloaded and installed it, open the app. You'll need to enable and select it as your default keyboard. Now, head over to the settings and adjust the keyboard height in landscape mode to 33%. Next, set the keyboard mode landscape to full 5 row layout. Then, disable some unnecessary settings like suggestions, auto capitalization, and quick fixes. You can also customize the theme and labels if you want, but for now, we're done with the keyboard setup. Now, it's time to install Cataclysm, DDA. There are two versions available, the stable version and the experimental version. The experimental version is more exciting since it gets daily updates, but it can be unstable. The stable version, on the other hand, is rock solid but receives fewer updates. Choose the one that suits you, then download it from either the Play Store or GitHub. The download links are in the description. When you open Cataclysm, dark days ahead for the first time, you'll see an options window. Keep software rendering off unless you're having rendering issues. Turn force full screen on. Set trap back button to off. And then press start game. Next, let's fix the font. Cataclysm uses two fonts, Terminus and Unifont. The issue is that Terminus looks great, but Unifont doesn't. To fix this, we'll simply replace Unifont with Terminus. Open Zarkiver. Navigate to Android Data Cataclysm Folder Files Data Font, then delete Unifont TF. Now, copy Terminus F, paste it in the same folder, and rename it to Unifont EF. That's it, Unifont is now replaced with Terminus. Now, let's tweak some in-game settings. Go to Settings, Options, Android, and set Auto Manage Virtual Keyboard Defaults. Next, we'll adjust the resolution and font size. First, install and open CPU-Z, then go to the Device tab. You'll see your screen resolution there, but we only need to focus on your phone's width. In my case, it's 720. This is important because in Cataclysm, your phone's width will be used as its height for proper scaling. With that in mind, open the calculator. Since we allocated 33% of Cataclysm's height to the keyboard, take your total screen height and subtract 33% of it. The result is the remaining resolution available for Cataclysm. Now, divide this number by 20 to get your perfect terminal height. Why 20? Because the font size I'm going to use is 20 by 10. You can test your game now to see how it looks. If the font appears too small or too large, you can tweak it. Try decreasing it to 18 by 10 or 16 by 8, or increasing it to 22 by 11, 24 by 12, or 28 by 14. If you pick a different font size, divide the remaining resolution by its height to get the correct terminal height. Just keep in mind that the final terminal height should always be above 24. In my case, I'm using 20 by 10, and my calculated terminal height is 24. Now, go to Settings, Options, Graphics, and set the terminal height to the value you got. Next, start increasing the terminal width until you notice the height starting to shrink. This helps you find the perfect width. Finally, set the font size, which is straightforward. Just change the font height and font width to match the values you've chosen. For me, that's 20 by 10. Keep in mind that the font size will always be the same as the font height. And that's it. Just restart Cataclysm, and if you followed everything correctly, your game should now be pixel perfect. There are still a few optional tweaks you can make. You can customize the sidebar, set show virtual joystick to false, reduce the virtual keyboard size and dead zone size, enable use tiles to display over map, switch to the Ultica tile set, and experiment with other settings to fine tune your experience. Lastly, don't forget to set up your key bindings. To play Cataclysm like a pro, you'll need to use your keyboard efficiently. Customize the key bindings to your preference so you can navigate the game smoothly. Once you've done all of this, the end result will be worth it. Cataclysm will be much more playable and look way better. 
Now that your setup is complete, you can focus on other things like learning the game, installing mods, changing tile sets, and more. If you'd like videos on those topics, let me know in the comments. And as always, the download links are in the description. Enjoy!